What's going on the DP peeps? Josh here with the Pride Productions. We're starting off a new tutorial series today to talk about texturing our models. It's gonna be using Quixel Mixer. You see Mixer right there. This is the Quixel Mixer. It's a freaking awesome free program. If you're a UE4 user, you obviously UE5 Unreal user, you know that you have um um you have uh what is it? You have a uh, you have you're allowed to use the Quixel Mega Scans. Well, this is a way of using some of their materials and their things like that to kind of and I've got a bunch of stuff I've been working on here, and we got all kind of sample models here but the point is if you use quixel mega scans with ue4 ue5 you have the right to use this quixel mixer as well to texture some models that they have change some model textures or do your own model so today we want to jump in and the first thing we want to learn real quick and easy is how to import our own model and then we'll discuss more about it in future tutorials but this is a huge jump for 2d texturing my friends now the thing is you can go to their sample projects if you open quixel mixer go download it offline it's free like i said and, and again if you want to import and export and use that kind of stuff yes you do need to have a an epic games account that way you can use it for free so obviously remember that so make sure you're using ue4 this is for ue4 and ue5 users only but again for you it's free anyway so we got all these little things so we got these a few models here you know what i'm saying we could grab this sci-fi barrel okay i'm just going to open it and what it's going to do is it's going to open the program it's going to pull the sci-fi barrel out of the quixel, quixel bridge which is where they have all the quixel mega scans it's going to take a couple seconds because it's a pretty big model but the point is, and it's going to set it up kind of like anything else, Photoshop or a, or a 3D or 2D um, editing software where it has different layers for materials and textures and stuff like that. And we're going to slowly get to learn a little bit about this in a, over a few tutorials. So I'm going to make these kind of quick. But yeah, pretty much what's going on now is I can scroll in and out. Okay, I can scroll in and out. I can, I can hold Alt and then with the left mouse button, you can hold it and kind of move your guy around like that. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Now you can hold Alt and, and, and right click and you'll zoom in and out as well. You know what I'm saying? Now you can just click the mouse wheel in and you can just kind of drag it around as you hold it like that you know what i'm saying this you can navigate your mesh you know what i'm saying you can zoom in a little bit like i said and then what else you can do here let me see i think there's one more here yeah if you hold shift and right click you can change the lighting bra back and forth like that little little light for you quick so mixer all day guys this is ridiculous i'm just going to go ahead and point out what this thing can do we're going to slowly unwrap all of its capabilities but today it's going to be easy i just want to show you guys that you know you can that it's pulling in a mix it's pulling in a model there now they've got three different layers here and what's cool is you can open up the layer and it has more layers and i mean i mean we're it, it gets deep so we're not going to jump too deep in it just now i don't want to i don't want to scare you but the point is i got these little eyeballs you know what i'm saying and i can kind of like turn them off and you'll notice that I'm getting a blank model now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh God, there's one more extra eyeball there. Bruh. You know what I'm saying, honey? And the point is now we've got this kind of look. You know what I'm saying? So the point, and again, and you hold shift, change your lighting a little bit, a little bit like that. Circle that baby bear. Whatever. That's not the point. The point is this is a model that I imported that was already a Mega Scans model. So what I want to teach you today is how to import our own model. Okay. So I'm going to go to file and go to new mix. Okay. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to name it, keep, keep it untitled. You know, it doesn't matter because I'm going to erase this because I don't care. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, you can set your resolution here. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll keep it the same. Keep it the same. Four, 496 is pretty good. We're not going to save any changes to the barrel because I don't know what I'm doing. Now, what it's going to do is going to give you a plane. Like any 2D or 3D software, you got your, your you know, like the default cube in Blender is so popular, brah. It's so popular. We'll get ready for the default plane. And again, you can kind of you can kind of toy around with it there. But what you want to do is you want to see these tabs up here. And the second one right here, you're going to have a couple options. It's going to ask you if it want to be this. You can you can go right down here to custom model, and it's going to let you import it. And of course, you're going to have your resolution and stuff all that here. But you see it right here. Grab the type, go to custom model, okay, and it's going to ask you for one. Now I've got all kind of stuff. I'm gonna go down here and I see one called Monkey, and it's gonna bring in my Monkey bro from Blender. Y'all go, y'all know this guy, right? You've seen him before. I literally just went into Blender, exported it as, as an FBX, just like you would for Unreal Engine 4, or Unreal Engine 5, or, or or an OBJ like you do for Unity. Wait, this isn't for Unity users unless you're paying that money. Okay, and I ain't got that money to spend, but the point is, here we go. We got our we got our monkey. You know, I'm moving the light around a little bit, making him kind of look kind of pretty. Let me see, but there we go. We got our monkey. We, we brought him in. And we have them in here that simple. That's all you had to do is go to file. And then you can come back here and you can, if you if you make him mess him up, you can obviously go in there. Now, if we go to layers, it's going to be empty, okay? And that's the thing is it's going to be empty. There's nothing going on here. And I'm not going to jump deep into it today. I just want to make sure you can get your own model in from Blender or whatever software you use and just export it as an FBX and then import it here. Like I said, go to there, go to the type, click custom model, and then import your model. And then, of course, like I said, get used to the uh, controls when it comes to moving them around. Obviously, this is the default monkey that comes 
comes with Blender after it's been subdivided smooth a couple times, but I do want to kind of show you. Now, if you click on any of these boxes, you have different types of layers. Some of these are already like specific. So for instance, if you need just like a surface layer, what it's going to do is if you click on this, it's going to open up the mega scans library that's consisted with this or, 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 or continuing with this. Now you have a ton of different surfaces here. Obviously I could just double click one and it's going to apply it to my monkey and it's going to look insane. You know, we're already going to see an idea of what it could look like. And I just want to point this out that when you're finished, this will export with all of the necessary maps to Unreal Engine. That's, that's what's insane about this is when you're done, it will export the maps and you will literally drag this model in there with those maps and it will look like this in Unreal Engine. And I mean, I, I don't even know what to, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, dude. This is freaking insane is what it is. Like the fact that we can do it. And this has been out for like a year, but now it's actually starting to do some things where I think it's capable of being used in at least some beta projects. Or so anyway, the point is, if I click on said material here, and obviously, you got the little eyeball. If I click on said material, I just want to kind of show you some things. You can drag your little windows over, maybe. Can I drag my Can I drag my little windows over? Yeah, I sure can, baby. You know what I'm saying? Move your guy over here. What it has is all your different things. Your albedo, right? And then it has your metalness, okay? And your roughness, which we know all about that. So you could go in and literally just click on this little, you could click on each tab and open it up, and there's several settings. I mean, there really are. You got your normal here. We can kill the normal. You kill the normal here, and then boom, it'll give it that look, you know what I'm saying we got the um you got the opacity you got the occlusion literally and think about this roughness metal stuff like metallic this is all going to be coordinated with the unreal engine stuff so you're going to get the maps necessary but the point is what's really cool is it gets deeper than that like i said each tab you have some things you can toy with the opacity the contrast and then over here if you if you close it the little thing over here this is the collar okay a little little collar dot so if i want to change them like a little more of a like, like more of a purple you know what i'm saying a little not too purple bro kind of yeah like like that you know what i'm saying but then i want him to be metal you know what i'm saying i want him to be metal and then i'm like boom making metal and i want him to be like real you know like boom you know what i'm saying oh my you know what i'm saying what we what we got we got this purple metal monkey bro and he's freaking metal bro he's like a little emerald but a monkey but i mean the point is you get what i'm doing and we're, we've done this in unreal engine 4 this is not like anything too crazy we, we've even in blender you can toy this but the point is these are your parameters here and again, whatever you do when you're done, you export it. You're going to export it with all of these um, maps. So all these maps, these maps, these, I'm pointing at the screen again, but these maps will come out and you'll just plug them into your material in Unreal Engine. And there you go. Now, the point is, one more thing I just want to show you real quick is, um, like I said, th it, that's not the only thing you can do. You can go back here and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to toy with more of this in the next tutorial. We're going to break this down into different things. But the point is, go to, you can go to surface. You can go to, this is just, just surface is selected. You can break it down, but you go down to, uh, you got your, this 3D imperfection, imperfection is cool because it's all your like little noise maps you know what i'm saying so if you grabbed one like this and obviously it's going to paint it over them but you're going to notice that the albedo isn't chosen it hasn't been chosen or like the eyeball it's not clear you can click it and it'll actually paste it over there and you're like wait bro i don't know what's i don't know what's going on well you can go down here you know just you, you gotta sometimes you gotta search for it. like you've checked out a placement tab right here and it'll have a scale option right yeah, the scale it's set to one, but I may set the scale to five. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you'll notice that it does a little bit more of the whole. Oh, oh, oh God. Okay, how about a ten? Okay, okay, there we go. And now it's kind of like doing us a little, doing us a little dirt. You know, so doing you a, uh, going to uh, give you a little, a little dirt. Okay, but the point is, guys, I just wanted to like really quickly show you that you can quickly bring in a model. Again, we have several things to learn here, so I don't want to teach you too much and throw too much at you in the first tutorial. Definitely get ready for a second one in the next few days. We're going to run through a few of these really quick. I want to show you how to set up models that have multiple materials, what you can do with each one of these different layers and what all they do. Really quick, like I said, you can just click here. Let, I can go back. Oh, sorry. Click, clicked enough one i can go back i'm going to delete the one i just added because now it's it's adding them it's adding this you know again layers you know how layers work i'm going to delete both of these and again like i said feel free to go here and click on any of these and go check some of them out you know what i'm saying uh we got a several things we want to talk about i'm going to click the i'm gonna click the mud one more again real quick you know what i'm saying and i'm going to go into my i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna open it you know close some of these tabs don't get too everyone i'm gonna go to my brown you know what i'm saying i'm gonna change it a little more brown like nah, that's too much oh man it looks that look good for me hold up Hold on. Yeah, what is that, son? Okay, a little, little money. The point is, these materials are so high fidelity, dude. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, that's how it works. Again, um, uh, scroll wheel to to zoom in and out. Click the scroll wheel to do this kind of number. Move it around. You know what I'm saying hold it. Um, hold Alt. Right click. Uh, right click will uh, zoom in and out as well. Left click will will swiv swivel your model. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the uh, space bar to go into full 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 window. 
full window mode. You know what I'm talking about? Borderless. Not really. It's not borderless at all. It's just kind of like a full screen window kind of thing. And then one more time, the uh, hold shift and uh, right click, and you can change the lighting left and right. That way you can do this kind of number, and then you can swivel your model around a little bit and move him around and change the lighting again. You know, yeah, I mean, guys, you, you, you get it. You know, we're just, this is insane. Definitely jump in. I mean, like I said, this is some really, really serious stuff. Make sure you know how to unwrap your models. We'll be talking more about that so we can make sure this stuff looks good. But guys, thanks for watching. Josh Hibbert to Prop Productions. Real quick tutorial. Another one in a few days. We have to cover a few things here because this is going to teach us to do some amazing stuff when it take when it has when it's our model our textures and our code so you're going to be using blender quixel mixer and unreal engine all these things will be free and you can literally create any asset you want i'm serious it's insane this is a huge jumping point for people who model and need help with 2d texturing this is giant i'm serious i mean there's there's obviously substance painter and all these other things you could use that cost money but this is freaking free if you're using epic my god help us all josh here with the prop productions thanks for watching subscribe to our channel we got more tutorials coming see you in a few days with another quixel mixer video we're going to do a few of these really quick guys and then we'll get back into everything else we got to learn this so we can start bringing all this cool stuff into unreal engine four and five so get ready love you miss you peace